Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm in a little bit of a different area, so I'm doing some traveling. Hopefully it looks nice and good. But this video, we're going to be talking all about my finances, how much how much fat stacks I'm bringing in with this channel. I mean, people keep asking me, Caleb, how can you afford these top-notch quality Gucci t-shirts? I mean, uh, Hobby Lobby t-shirts. And that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys today. But before we get started, I have to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor. Today we have a very special sponsor unlike any sponsor we've had before. World of Warships has reached out to me to try out their game and share it with you guys. World of Warships is a fantastic free to play warship combat game. It's the game with the perfect balance of action and strategy. The game keeps its players engaged with massive naval fleets in extreme detail to over 300 iconic ships across numerous regions. And when I say extreme detail, each ship in the game takes six months to create from beginning to end to design it as close to the real thing as possible. There's always something to do with weekly missions, updates, and events. You can play solo with your friends or interact with the 30 million players across the world. I've had a great time playing the game whenever I need a break or just want to have some fun. If you're a new player, use the code BATTLESTATIONS2020 for a bonus, including extra credits and a premium ship. If you're still unsure if this game is great, just ask my wife who had to deal with me playing it at 2 in the morning. It's a little addicting. So I'll see you guys in game and thank you World of Warships for sponsoring this channel. Alright, let's get started. So I'm assuming that you generally understand how creators make money, but one of the big ways is through ads. So when you watch a YouTube video, ads play at the beginning, sometimes in between, in the middle of the video, and then sometimes at the end. And anytime this is played for a certain length or someone clicks through on this, I make a couple of uh, pennies. <laughs> so we're gonna take a look at what a typical video might earn and different things I've been doing lately to increase my income and also income beyond YouTube because it's not just ads that make my income, it's actually a bunch of different things. So taking a look at some of my top performing videos by watch time, these will also generally be some of my highest earning videos. My top one on here is my 10 hour C++ programming tutorial series. In the last 28 days, this has received 45,000 views, which is pretty crazy. That means within a year, it'll get you know 500,000 views or so. So it's very likely that this will have a few million views in the next couple of years. And you might think, man, this is getting thousands of views. You must be making hundreds of thousands of dollars. No, it doesn't quite work that way. For the views I have for it, which totaling now is 347,000, this has earned me a little over $2,000. Yeah. I mean, I'm not complaining, 2,000 is pretty good, but for making an income every single month, you're gonna have to get a lot, a lot of views. And unfortunately, not every video I upload does as good as the number one performing video. In fact, I have hundreds of videos that really do not perform as well as I would like. So on average, you can just take a look at the whole channel. I get 700 and some thousand views, and I make a little over $3,000 for ad revenue. And that's as of the start of 2020. At the beginning of 2019, I was making like a fourth of this. So even though I've been doing YouTube for many years, I've been able to grow the most just in the last year. And I've done this by focusing on a few things. Longer form content, so doing a 10 hour video, I mean, that's crazy because people are gonna watch a lot of that and I put mid-roll video ads in this video. And unfortunately, people don't really like this because I think I've gone a little over the top with it. But if you think about a five second ad that people can skip, For a 10 hour video, which consists of 100 different episodes in that 10 hour span, if I put an ad between each every single episode and you can skip after five seconds, you're still only looking at like five minutes of ads for a 10 hour video compared to television where you might watch a 20 minute show and have 10 minutes of ads. So from my perspective, I don't really think it's that bad and I think people are blowing it out of proportion, but I'm not gonna lie, I do put a lot of mid-roll ads in my long form videos. The other thing I've been doing is just focusing on higher value videos, so different topics that produce more income. So another one of my top performing videos is how to buy Bitcoin for beginners. And you can see it's my fourth most popular video and it has earned me almost $1,000. So I've figured out different topics produce more income per view. So in the context of the video, I was just showing you Bitcoin, 50,000 views producing $1,000. We're looking at, you know, $20 per thousand views, which is just astronomically higher than many of my other videos. So that and financial topics I find are producing more money 
purview and as a result, it's, it's better for me to focus on that type of content. So basically what I did is after creating a bunch of videos, I would group them all in, in content type or different series and I would see which ones were performing the most, which ones were giving me the most dollars per month and I would continue to create that type of content. And then I would explore a little bit on different topics to see if anything performed really well. Now this is all obvious and logical, but maybe if you're creating videos, you might be creating stuff that's not really valuable and you should be going into your analytics and checking to see which videos are producing the most money and have the highest return on investment. So basically I stopped focusing on things that brought less money and started focusing on things that brought more money. I had the advantage because I was able to go back and look through data from the last couple of years, but you can get a general idea of what content performs well within just a few months of creating videos. So those first few months, that's gonna be more exploratory. You're just testing the waters for different topics, see what does well, and then you can see which ones really take off for your channel. Now, YouTube ad revenue is not the only source of income from me, uh, thankfully, because although 3,000 is a lot, for the amount of work and time and energy that we put into this channel, that's not a huge return. So in the next year, I hope to quadruple that at least. However, in the meantime, I work with sponsors and I also do courses for companies as well as Udemy and Skillshare and things like that. So through all of these different ways of making money, last year I earned a little under 90,000, which is pretty good being my first full-time year doing YouTube. And I actually did a video breaking down this income, where it all came from. So if you wanna see the details for that, I have that on my other channel. I'll try to leave a link somewhere. <laughs> so check that out if you want to know the more juicier details. So would I recommend YouTube as a means of income? Absolutely, I think it's a great way to make extra money, but I do think it is a lot of work. So you do not have the, the support of a company paying your paycheck every single month with YouTube. So in a way, the, the responsibility to, to make that money is all shifted to you and you have to figure out how to monetize the content you're creating. Thankfully, YouTube is a great platform for monetizing through the YouTube ads and sponsorships are pretty common so you can make it work and it just seems to keep going up and up. Every single month, I get higher ad revenue than the previous month. I mean, it does go up and down, but the, the general direction is up over every single month. So would I stop and go get a job because I could go earn 100 or 150 or 200,000 in a software engineering job? I'm probably not gonna do that because I can foresee in the next year or two making that same amount, but here at home on YouTube, which gives me freedom to travel or to do whatever I want or to focus on different technologies that I find interesting. And it also gives me freedom in terms of what hours I work and how much time I'm spending on YouTube. Right now, I'm actually probably spending more time on my business than I would spend on a normal job, but that's because I'm really trying to grow it. So I'm making the sacrifice now so later I can redeem the reward. So that's my experience. If you guys create videos, let me know in the comments how much you'd be earning or what you'd like to earn. And even if you don't wanna do YouTube full time, you might wanna consider creating content on YouTube or these other platforms, courses, whatever it might be. You might wanna do that as a part-time thing, as a side gig, just to get a little bit extra money help you pay for groceries or for a car or whatever it might be. And that might be a good way to get a little bit more experience and set yourself apart from the rest of the industry. So thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. And let me know if you liked this kind of content, this financial content, or if you'd like to see more programming or, or what you guys want and be specific so I, I know exactly what you're looking for. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one.